terms of the OEMs, we have been very clear in terms of what the process will be. Not just what our demands are and what way we would like to settle, but also what the process will be. Right up front, I think we made this very clear to the OEMs as well as to the public that these contracts were deemed irregular and unlawful as they had not fulfilled certain procurement processes. I want this very clear because I don't believe it was illegal. I think it's irregular and unlawful and the legal part of the legality is up to the courts. So we believe it's irregular and unlawful as it relates to the procurement processes that should have been followed and the procurement legislation that should have been followed at the time of the reviews, evaluation and contracting processes. That means that Transnet uh, will have to go to court <coughs> to review as a review application for these contracts. And that the next part of it remains at the hands of the OEMs and Transnet to come up with an amicable, just and equitable settlement uh, suggestion to the courts. So that will be the next process after this. Once we confirm with the OEMs their stance, we will be seeking the legal recourse to the legal processes.